I'm currently Parliamentary Private Secretary to Maria Miller, who's the Secretary of State for Culture, Media, Sport, Women and Equalities. I'm the Parliamentary Private Secretary to Alan Duncan. He is the Minister of State at the Department for International Development. PPS for the Minister David Law in the Department for Education. PPS is probably the lowest level of government roles. So you've got backbenchers and then you've got the front bench, but sort of in between are the sort of PPSs. I do act as a sort of eyes and ears, uh, essentially and formally for, for the minister that I, that I work with in, in the parliamentary party. It's a two-way thing, of course, because part of it is hearing and listening what their, either their, their ideas or what they're concerned about and responding to it. Um, and but it's also then saying that you know if the Secretary of State has got a particular policy that that, that she's trying to put through, then you know I can help try and um, persuade them um, or at least help them understand what it's all about. The reverse of that is making sure that my minister Alan Duncan knows what's going on in Parliament, knows what MPs and backbenchers' concerns are about foreign aid, for instance, in this in in, in his instance, um, and to make sure that. Any initiative that he wants to undertake is communicated properly to the backbenches. Some of it is reactive, it's about announcements that come from government, from the Department for Education specifically, and making sure that uh, colleagues are engaged in those uh, announcements, so making sure that there's an awareness of that. When you're a new MP, it's all a bit of a mystery how government works, and therefore this is a way where you can sit in ministerial meetings, you can do things with your your minister or secretary of state, um, and learning from them on how they do business. As such. And it comes together, I suppose, in the kind of most public moment is at parliamentary questions. So most people will have seen Prime Minister's questions, uh, but there are similar question times for each department. And when we have uh, DFID uh, questions, which is uh, on a Wednesday just before Prime Minister's questions every few weeks, uh, what I do is to make sure that questions that are being asked of our Minister, of, of Alan and other Ministers in DFID, are as well answered as possible, so that backbenchers are happy that they've got a satisfactory answer. And likewise, I make sure that my minister knows as far in advance about the kinds of things that might come up so he's going to be able to answer it as fully as possible. So if we, if we cover off just the prep for the orals first, because that's the date for parliamentary orals. The 31st of October. The 31st of October. On the DCMS website, the top news story, Leveson is there twice. Yeah. Um, there's some things about museums, um, about visits to museums and galleries being the highest it's ever been. Oh, right, so it's some good messages to get out there. Something about Sainsbury's 2014 school games, which I haven't heard of, but it's in Manchester, so we might have a few on over there. The okay. additional ones that will probably definitely come up will be Leveson. Leveson, yeah. Mm. Else, else is planned. So anything else? No. Nope. Brilliant. Thank you very much. That's right. I've been um, uh, getting involved in all sorts of work in Parliament, committee work, um, supporting the Minister David Laws in some of his activities. We've got education question time coming up next week, so I've been preparing questions and encouraging colleagues uh, in Parliament to submit questions uh, for that session. Um, I've got a meeting on Monday that I'm uh, organising at the moment for members of Parliament to meet with David as, as the Minister. Uh, it, it's, it's good as an apprentice, as it were, which is what a PPS is in, in some senses, to view how a department could be run well by a very competent ministerial team headed by an excellent Secretary of State. I've, I've had two PPS roles now. Both the ones I've worked for have just said to me, come and do as much as you can and want. So literally, I will get their diary through and I can look through it and say, what are the things that are really I find interesting or that I want to be involved in or I want to listen into those discussions. I've actually also gone out and acted on behalf of ministers um, and given some presentations around the country about some of the work that, that we're doing. Um, as a PPS, I regularly meet with education uh, groups um, and organisations to find out how government can work better for them. I've got three things that I'd like to discuss with you mainly. I was hoping we could talk a bit about um, part-time yeah. students. Think about the OU, think about basically 250,000 students right across the country. But as you correctly say, um, part-time numbers are down. They're down pretty significantly, 40% down in the last year. And so just to give you a bit of context, before the fees changes came in mm -hmm. that you voted against, um, we, we had about 4 in 10 of all students studying part-time. 
uh, at that stage, one in three of all of those part-time students were OU students, mm. so pretty sizable number. Yeah. Um, that four in ten has now dropped as a result of the changes. We're publishing our report on the 18th of October, which will talk about some of uh, the issues and the causes behind the drop, but mm. also crucially some recommendations uh, for you, for David Laws, for Nick Clegg, for the Prime Minister, about how we can resolve the issues and really stimulate that sector again. These sorts of meetings feed in both through the department but also crucially for my role through the party as well and that policy development takes place all year round um, outside uh, government as well as uh, within government so looking ahead to the general election as we pull together the sorts of policies that we'll be campaigning on and including in our manifesto it's groups with organisations such as Open University that help inform our policy development. The first important aspect of what I do has got to be the constituency. Because but naturally, beyond that, what we want to do is deliver real change for the country. And you can do that through you know, roles within ministerial levels. Um, so I've always said that I, you know, I would be absolutely wanting to build that experience now so that if I ever get the opportunity to take on a ministerial role, at least I've had the experience in you know, a few departments to um, actually understand what the role's about and therefore how I can actually make a difference to it.